Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm a singer-songwriter. I mainly focus on writing songs about stories, ballads in folk music genre. Ballads are just songs that tell stories. And I often get the question about why I sing songs the way that I do. Uh, sometimes people uh, think that I'm trying to use like an accent, and sometimes I might be, depending as we will get into. But most of the time I'm just trying to serve the story in a ballad. So I wanted to take a minute and just sort of explain how I sing ballads. Because singing ballads is different from singing a regular love song or singing a pop song, something along those lines, just because of the nature of the story. First off, I want to say that when you are singing ballads, you have to be very precise in your speech. You have to pronounce the lyrics clearly. So you kind of need to stress the syllables in different ways, like I am right now. <laughs> Think William Shatner or something, right? But besides for being able to pronounce everything correctly in a ballad while you're singing it, there's three things that I sort of think about when I'm trying to decide how I am going to tell the story the best through singing the song. The first is if the song has dialogue. Now this is a classic ballad thing where you have two characters going back and forth over a specific thing, but because there's a, a, only one person singing it, maybe some of those characters could get mixed up sometimes. So I like to change the mood of the person talking, sort of like taking on those characters' personality traits. So for example, in the song Two Drovers, you have a cowboy or a blue collar type person being approached by someone in power, like a boss or maybe a political person uh, who's trying to run for some office or something eventually. So I try to take on sort of the stereotypical things that those characters might do. So I'm going to sing the beginning of the song right here. Now I found myself in Boise in the springtime of 16 When two well-known famous drovers come walking up to me Saying, how you doing young fellow and how would you like to go? Spend the summer pleasant on the trail of the buffalo Well, me being out of work right then to the drovers, I did say If I may be bold, I have been told all the buffalo have gone away But if you pay good wages and transportation to and fro I guess I could go with you on the trail of the buffalo <laughs> Of course we pay good wages and transportation too if you'll agree to stay with us until the season's through But if you do get weary and you try to run away There'll be no one else to save you and you'll also lose your pay So you can see there that, you know, one character is definitely like Yeah, whatever, if you pay me, I guess it doesn't matter And then the other character has sort of a salesman type uh, attitude that I try to put in there and sometimes I do it better than others I hope it came across well there the second thing that I think about when deciding how I'm going to sing a ballad is you know what is the mood or what is the topic of the song so sometimes I will focus more on my lower register if the song has a more creepy or more moody aspect to it and then sometimes I'll, I'll bring it up high uh, not like super falsetto or anything but towards the higher end of my register if I want a lighter feeling to the song as an example for this on the lower end uh, there's this song where I I 
tell a story of a grave digger who digs up people who've been buried alive. So that obviously I want to be a little bit creepier. So I use the lower register as you can see here. can you tied the twine to your sister's hand and laid out the bell after she got low and I was summoned here to be the guide and sing her off to the other side but if anything should happen you'll be the first to know if she laying in the shade of a reaper's gown I busy my speed when I hear the bell sound no matter how When I hear that bell now Yes, I busy my spade I busy my spade I busy my spade No one goes to hell now When I busy my spade So as you can see there, like, I really want that mood, that creepy foundational rootsy sound to just be in there so I really focus on my vocals in that lower register example of one where I use my higher register because it's a, a more joyous and light-hearted song I would have to say that this is probably a good example in Reverie Pilgrims Came from the old world, Junior, through the ghost towns on the new gold rush. No matter how long you let it pursue you, you always submit to love. When you're shaking and colored, sea green, or walking a weak plank with nothing but trust. Maybe ready to sleep, perchance dream and say, I, there's the rub, and I say, I say. It's just that lighter feeling and I want to incorporate that into the singing of the song. So all of these things really make a difference. Another thing is the character. So is there a character that I've created th that is basically singing the song the whole way through? And uh, I'm going to play an example of that for you now. I wrote a song about a loan shark who takes great pleasure in the fact that when people don't pay him back, he gets to hurt them in some way. So when I take on this character, I try to portray a little bit of a sick mind because you have to be kind of a sick person to loan somebody money and then when they don't pay you back to take their fingers, which is what this song is about. I'm familiar. With your kind, my friend, then it's unlikely you'll have a respectable end but me. I'm a businessman, and I know life like this cigar in my hand. Too many people don't know if you cut it too high. It will unravel and leave you dry. I keep one for my Romeo with Julieta. The other for your fingers You say you want more money for a trip to Vegas And I have no confidence that you'll come back to see us Yeah So it's just like kind of creepy But you're taking on the personality of that character in your voice And I think that's really important to bring a perspective to the song, right? It's sort of like acting. It's not 
nearly as detailed or as complicated as acting is since you're just trying to focus on the voice. Like you don't need the mannerisms or anything, but just giving the character a voice can help you tell the story better and help the story be understood better. I mean, just think about when you're listening to fiction audiobooks. You don't like to hear the person reading the audiobook have the same voice for every character. You can make no connection to those characters if that's the case. You like to hear someone who reads an audiobook and makes different voices for the different characters so that you can follow the story easier in its audio form. And I think that is something that needs to be brought to music more, especially when singing ballads. So I try to do it whenever possible. Uh, just bring characters in, but not too much because you don't want to sort of make a mockery of the story by overacting. And I've done that, and it's a fine line, right? You, you might overact a little bit when you sing the song one time and then correct or maybe overcorrect and perhaps I overcorrected a little bit here maybe I should have gone deeper into the sick mind of the character on one for my Romeo e Julietas but that is one where it just is a fine line to am I trying to force this characteristic personality down the throat of the listeners or am I trying to just sort of add a little bit like a dash of character so that they follow along a little bit easier and take more enjoyment out of the song. That's what it comes down to on all three of those things is just making sure the story is delivered with the proper elements, whether it's in the dialogue, in the tone or the topic or the mood of the song, or if you're trying to play a character, like what tells the story the best? And that's something that I always keep in mind when I'm performing these ballads live and also when I'm just recording them to be put up, put up on Spotify and iTunes and all those other places. So if you want to hear more, be sure to listen on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon Music, all over. And you can also find me at JeremiahCraig.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a spectacular day. Peace, everybody. Busy my speed. I busy my speed when I hear that bell now. Yes, I busy my speed. I busy my speed. I busy my speed. No one goes to hell now.